Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokeaim here with the next part of the Road to Top 10 in the OU tier. Thank you everybody once again for all the support. Like I said, or like I've been saying, I would appreciate it if you just keep leaving likes, comments, all that. Obviously, if you enjoy it though, not just because I said it, I want you to enjoy the content that I'm putting out. Uh, and thank you everybody for the uh, constructive criticism, feedback, whatever it is. Uh, I've noticed that somebody noticed that I've been you know, updating the moveset stuff every single time I see something that makes sense. For example, in this one, you'll see that I took out the apostrophe S and EVs because I realized that it doesn't make sense at all. So thank you for pointing that out. And um, yeah, I really do appreciate it. So there should be a timestamp up on your, your your little screen right there, or maybe it's a big screen, I don't know, uh, that skips the team preview that we're about to go through and then yeah, you guys can go see the battles, so let's get right into team preview. All right, so today's team, we're actually using a pretty hard balance. Uh, I actually wanted to try this on at least this part of the ladder, see if we can get some points with it. But our first member is actually the opposite of the entire team. It's our balance breaker itself, since balance versus balance typically is a hard matchup and really long games. So we have choice fan Hoopa Unbound, which helps us break through them. We're running Jolly Nature because this allows us to outspeed max speed heat ran. Again, this is the balance breaker. This is the stall breaker. Choice Band, Hyperspace, Fury, 2 AKOs, Pokemon like Feral Thorn, Scizor, and pretty much everything that doesn't just straight up resist it. In example, Bold, Clefable, which we do have Zen Headbutt for, which is 2 AKO that. Uh, as well as dealing with Toxic Effects. Drain Punch is there because we do not want to allow Tyranitar in for free and just get Pursuit Trapped. Uh, we also outspeed uh, Max Speed Mega Tyranitar as well as Max Speed Regular Tyranitar, obviously. And then Fire Punch is our last move, allowing us to get the Oko on Feral Thorn as well as Scizor and doing a ton of damage to Pokemon like Celesteela and Magirna without having to waste Hyperspace Furies. Hyperspace Fury breaking through Protect is really, really nice. Like I said, this is the balance breaker on the team. This allows us to have a good matchup versus opposing balance, which otherwise we kind of suffered in. So next up we have Unaware Clefable. Now I'm not the biggest fan of this Pokemon, as I feel like it gets worn down really quickly, but I do understand it for the team. It's supposed to help us versus set up sweepers such as Zygarde, uh, SD Heracross, Mega Heracross obviously, um, as well as just physical attackers in general, Megazard X, which is why we actually have Toxic. Toxic allows us to wear those down. Uh, Wish Protect because that's the main recovery that Clefable does get. Wish is actually pretty good with Hoopa because Hoopa is pretty good at bringing itself in on uh, weaker Pokemon or even Pokemon that threaten Clefable. For example, Hoopa can come in on Heatran pretty easily unless it's a Z move. Uh, so with Wish, you can actually just bring it back up to HP, bring its HP back up after taking a hit. Uh, Moonblast is our main form of stab. This allows us to hit Pokemon such as Zygarde for super effective damage. Again, this is the physical uh, wall of the team and is a setup super check, on, at least on the physical side anyway. And Toxic just allows us to wear those down. Uh, 16 Spadef EVs allow you to uh, take on Psychic from Mega Latios a little bit better. I believe it only has a 14% chance to 2 8 KO. So I have to protect. That's pretty cool. You're able to take that. Uh, next up, we do have Tox Effects on the squad. What's a balanced team without Tox Effects? So, we have ICMZ Tox Effects. Now, this is really, really solid because it allows Tox Effects to beat the Mons that can actually overpower it, the setup Mons that can actually overpower it. For example, Bisharp, Halucha, Kartana. Those are all Pokemon that if Tox Effects doesn't get the burn on immediately, and even if it does, Pex gets worn down to the point where it can't really recover off. Um, so, the Ada Defensive Ease allow us to take on plus two Halucha's Acrobatics, plus two Bisharp's attack, plus two Kartana's attack that's not Grassy MZ. Uh, we can fish for a Scald Burn, and Z Haze allows us to not only stop the SD from Halucha, stop the SD from Kartana, stop the SD from Bisharp, but also get a, a, a max heal all the way back up to full in the same turn. So, like I was saying, uh, one of Toxapex's flaws is, yes, it can stop you with Haze, but if you've already been boosted enough, and I just got hit with a plus two attack, I, I'm I'm either pressed to go for recover while you're able to set up again and again, but this just combines both in one move. Um, the rest is put in Spadef, allows us to take on Greninja and whatnot. Uh, and it's, of course, T-Spike supporting the team. ICMZ is also nice because uh, it allows us to not get tricked. It allows us to not get knocked off, take the extra damage from knockoff. And uh, yeah, Pex just does what it does best. So next up, we have Gliscor. Gliscor is the heat ran answer on the team. You can even take on Pokemon like uh, Gengar because of its Bedef investment has Defog as well. This thing switches in on Coco. HP Ice does not do enough damage to knock out Gliscor as Earthquake does uh, take out Coco after a bit of prior damage. 
Um, again, this is the main defrog on the team. This is our way of getting rid of spikes. This is also our status absorber because once we get our toxic orb activated, we don't care about scalds from toxic specs. We do nothing. Um, the 56 defense allows you to take on Pokemon like Banded Zygarde. You're not too KO'd by it. The speed allows you to outspeed uh, minimum base speed 100. So thinking about Pokemon like maybe Wish Protect Jirachi, though it's not like the best in the tier uh, right now. And typically, a lot of Gliscors will go faster than Heat Ran because Z Heat Ran is a problem. Uh, this Gliscor can actually take it on regardless, but it doesn't appreciate switching in on Magastorm plus a Z move. So that's something we will have to be careful about when using this team and something I was thinking about changing, but I didn't want to change too much and I wanted to experiment with the team itself. But u turns really nice for momentum. We don't lose that from defogging. Obviously, Earthquake is stabbed. So next up, we have Feral Thorn. Feral Thorn is the Stealth Rock on the team. It is the Rain Check on the team. It is the Tapu Lele answer on the squad, which is why we have Leech Seed Protect and Gyro Ball over Power Whip. Uh, Greninja is pretty checked by the squad itself. As we have T-Spike, we have Clefable to be a Dark Resist. Toxivex just takes it on with ZAs. We can't even, we don't have to worry too much about being flinched because we can recover all the way up to full, even if we're at 2% with ZAs as long as we get it off, um, which is why this Feral Thorn is actually primarily built Spadef, uh, just so we can take on the likes of Lele, since Lele is definitely a problem for the squad. Also, you know, our Electric Resist, and it's Feral Thorn, it just takes hits. Uh, next up we have uh, a great Scizor answer on the team, a Volcarona answer on the squad, um, a, a better Bisharp answer than what we had, uh, a great check to a lot of physical setup mons, and that is Mega Charizard X. We're using a tank Zard X right here uh, with Roost, will o -Wisp, Flare Blitz, and Earthquake. Earthquake allows us to uh, take on Heat Ran and knock him out. The 20 attack investment lets us guarantee KO um, Volcarona with Tough Claw boosted Flare Blitz. Uh, Roost and Will-O-Wisp, obviously Roost for longevity, Wisp for stopping setup sweepers. We have 120 speed, allows us to outspeed uh, Jolly Bisharp, um, Jolly Braylon. Of course, like, I'm naming Pokemon that you might not see the most, but they are still threats. Uh, Flare Bits lets us break through Pokemon like Celesteela. It's also a Kartana check on the team. One of the Kartana checks on the team. Obviously, plus two all-out pummeling is scary, but after a Wisp, this thing even 1v1's Landorus. So, this Pokemon, incredibly bulky. And yeah, let's just start battling. So first battle up, we actually got the rain team that I uh, used last time. Ideally, it's not the SD Grassium Z Kartana because that thing can kind of plow through the entire team. I have to be careful because if I'm not able to Mega Evolve with Charizard, it could be a huge problem. Like his squad in general. Uh, Feral Thorn is going to be very, very useful in this checking Assault Vest Magirna, checking Kingdra. Um, I really, really also like T-Spike and that's actually why I'm going to be leading off with uh, Toxapex as I feel like Pex matches up super well versus my opponent. Now, I know that this is Taunt Tornadus, however, I don't have to worry too much about that. If I get a burn on it, uh, it's not as much of a problem. I could have won Gliscor there too, but I feel like I got nothing out of it um, as I'm going to attempt to just burn the Tornadus. Um, Hurricane obviously isn't going to do too much. I don't have to worry about knockoff either because I'm ICMZ, and if we could just wear down Torn, that'd be great. Uh, same thing with potentially Pelipper coming in. Um, obviously, Hurricane is going to be, you know, a little, just a little bit annoying right there. Now, I do end up getting the burn, which is pretty cool. I want to make the uh, the relatively safe Gliscor play, as I feel like I can get away with it. I feel like my opponent will not taunt. And yeah, I would have went Magirna there too, which is something I was also thinking, as uh, my opponent could easily have a Volt Switch with AV Magirna. Now, this does give me some nice momentum. Really, really surprised that Magirna ended up staying in there on Gliscor. As it throws off an ice beam. Now, obviously, I don't want to take. Um, obviously, I don't want to take uh, a focus blast right now. Um, there's a few plays I can make. One of them is going right out into Charizard, uh, and the only downside of this play is if my opponent ends up going for Volt Switch. But I feel like Charizard's still relatively safe too, because I can easily roost on whatever my opponent brings out. Yeah, as my opponent brings out Pelipper, so. Uh, we're going to take this opportunity to Mega Evolve and Roost. I need to be Mega, that way I can actually take on the likes of Pokemon like uh, Swampert and Kartana. I'm going to play a little bit aggressively here, considering I have uh, Ferrothorn as a switch. And I, it's, it's a little bit tough because my opponent can easily Earthquake, but I really, 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 really want a Will-O-Wisp right here because I feel like Rocks makes a lot more sense versus me. I just got to think about this in the long run. Rocks would be annoying. Uh, Hoopa's job is to come in on... Uh, literally tornadoes and click hyperspace fury I gotta be careful here I'm assuming my opponent's gonna go for rocks but I'm gonna go uh, into Clefable 
Yep. And what I can do is, uh, I'll attempt the toxic, as this thing is a problem. Uh, obviously, we're unaware, uh, I'll be able to check it, but between toxic and multiple protects on the team, I think I'll be okay. Um, the Like I said, the Kartana is a huge, 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 huge problem to me. And while will o Wisping would have been a little bit better there, I still think I made the uh, correct play. Now, I'm pretty sure that Toxpex will live one Earthquake, but it's not worth risking. Uh, and, and Feraltone is the other play as well. Like, this is a tough first game to start off. Because while we do have a decent rain matchup, I should have just Willow. I should have went with my gut. Played a little bit more aggressively, too. I outsped that. Well, I didn't outspeed in the rain, obviously. My opponent should Earthquake here, though. But at the same time, they don't have to. They really don't have to. I'm just trying to think of how the hell do I beat... Kartana. Because if I get in Feral Thorn, I'm gonna get on my uh, Stealth Rock. I'm a wish. I had Earthquake here, yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna be able to, uh, thankfully, thankfully, uh, stop the, uh, <laughs> stop the Swamper right there. Now I know this Magirna does have Flash Cannon, and I, I will be able to take it. I have good spadef, and if my opponent goes for the uh, Volt Switch, that's fine too. Ideally, my opponent doesn't freeze me. Nice. And basically, Clefable's back up at full, so that's awesome. Um, I can definitely see my opponent going Pelipper there. I'm really happy that the, the Swapper got worn down. There's a few things that could happen here, and that are kind of problematic. Um, I know how I beat Magirna. I I just don't want Ferrothorn getting too weak. I know I'm not, I'm not gonna take anything from Focus Blast to be honest. I'm gonna go Ferrothorn. Especially if my opponent Volt switches, this is the play. Now my issue is my opponent getting in Kartana here too, but I do like Rocks as they decide to go Pelipper first as opposed to Hard Kartana. I'm okay with that too. I mean, I could have been an HP Fire variant, to be honest. And, uh... Would you hard you turn Huh. Cause I feel like I'd hard U-turn here. I can beat. I'm a, I'm a gyro ball. As my opponent goes Kingdra, I'm assuming they expect me to go Pex or something like that. But even then, Kingdra doesn't really stop it. No, the reason I'm gyro balling is because I'm pretty positive that Clefable can one v one Kartana, but I need damage on it first. So I'm just gonna keep gyro balling. Um, Kingdra, while it is a threat, it is apparently beaten down, and I don't understand why my opponent forfeited there. You have Kartana. Kartana is your main way of raking through my team. Like, I, I I was the one in the back end because I'm playing more defensively. Ooh. Okay. I know we're lower on the ladder, but I really like my opponent's team a lot. I like it a lot. Uh, I love Hoopa in this matchup. It's so good. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to lead off with it. Because it pretty much gets a kill with Hyperspace Fury immediately. I'm not going to go for Zen Head, but uh, Hyperspace Fury with 2 KO. Um, Venusaur cannot go for one attack that will knock me out unless it's like max attack power whip. I'll be faster. I'm going right for Hyperspace Fury. You can go out into your Honchko. It's not going to preach. It died in a crit. I know it was a crit, but oh my gosh. I was staying in anyway because I can't risk pursuit, but I can't believe it died there. That's crazy. So we can bring out Clef on the Mimikyu and just Toxic. Doesn't matter about his SD. We'll, we'll be able to take every hit. That's a crit, by the way. That's a crit doing plus two damage, almost. Um, we could just wish. Like, we don't have to worry too much about that mon. Now my opponent unfortunately does have two poison types that can easily come in on my T-Spike, so I'm probably not going to get those up. Uh, however, I am going to get up Rocks with Pharaoh. while it does allow Salaz very solid play on my opponent's part, getting a Salaz. You think he Salaz was toxic? That was a nice play. I like Zard here though on the expected fire move, um, and I can just go right for Earthquake. Now, uh, my opponent, I guess to go for Toxic there. I'm okay with that trade. I'm 100% okay with that trade. Salaz was actually a pretty big threat to my team. Uh, though Glyscore obviously takes it on, but I don't mind Charizard doing that for me, especially because I can easily go out to Ferrothorn. Uh, gotta be careful about this, uh, this Conqueror though. If it's like Sheer Force Poison Jab, it's a big problem. Get in Ferrothorn here, get up our rocks. I don't think Leech Seed is necessary, and I actually like rocks because I think it, it will be the difference between Hoopa literally destroying his team and not. Uh, ideally, we see a Flame Orb on this thing. No Flame Orb. I'm a Leech Seed, uh, as I don't think he'll knock me out with Drain Punch, and this will allow Clefable to actually be able to handle it. 
and beat it 1v1. Clef is going to be MVP in beating this as well as my, um, as well as Mimic you. So, yeah, basically, I didn't think Drain Punch would knock me out anyway because I didn't see a Flame Orb. He had to be like Sheer Force Boosted Fire Punch to knock me out. And I can easily just go for Moonblast here. Uh, if he wants to knock me, that's great. Um, I'm assuming he might actually be an Assault Vest variant. And if he goes Venusaur, I think it's time. We're just going to start bringing out our... Uh, we're just going to start bringing out our Hoopa. But before I get in Hoopa, what I want to do is get in Gliscor first. I don't think my opponent will go for Sleep Powder if they have it. I think that Sludge Bomb is more likely. And I can activate my Toxic Orb, allowing me to come in on my Lodic. Um, and then just U-turn. Because obviously you're not going to Sleep Powder now. So I can get in Hoopa one more time and Hyperspace Fury. I mean, I can also Zen Headbutt. Oh, might as well. The headbutt's better. It actually hits everything. But the thing is that headbutt misses, which is why I was a little bit hesitant on it. But the fact that it did 59% to my Lodic is ridiculous. I love Choice Band Hoopa. This reminds me of uh, back in Sun and Moon when I made a team that was like, it was like Pex Rock. It was like Hard Balance, and then it had a Specs Feramosa on it. Which was just nasty. So we're bringing Pex here. As I don't want to allow Clefable to take a main hit, and I would have played Rough there too, which is why I brought in Pex. And it allows me to throw off Scalds too. And uh, potentially get up a T spike. I actually like the idea of getting up a T spike. I don't mind it being Guts Conkleder, and T spike is basically going to guarantee hit something. Again, I don't mind it being Guts Conkleder at all. And I'll get up two layers here. Um, two layers would allow me to basically get a Toxic off on Conk, but um, you don't do anything to me, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, like I, I have Z Haze. I don't have to worry about you at all. I have Regenerator. I can wear you down. Charizard will always eat a hit anyway, and it kind of just flare blitzes through your team. So, yeah, I don't see a reason not to Scald again. Your Drain Punch isn't going to be getting too much recovery back. And if you want to Ice Punch on my Gliscor switching, great. I will gladly give up a Pokemon that isn't essential to winning in the end game, uh, whereas Peck can still Haze Mimic you. And if my opponent doesn't, I get to fire off an Earthquake, knock out Conk, get rid of... Uh, it'll, it'll 2K... It'll, eh, it's, actually, you might not 2K a Venusaur if it's max defense. But getting rid of Conk is the important part, because that's his main way of dealing with Feral Thorn there. And uh, if he brings in Mimikyu, smart man bringing in uh, Venusaur first. I can respect that. I'm going to start Blitzing now. I'm not even going to play this uh, safer endgame. I wonder how much Tough Claw's 20 attack investment does to a thick, fat Pokemon. Let's see. I'm actually pretty curious. Well, at least we get to bust Mimic use the skies, which is pretty cool. Um, that will allow me to just win with Moonblast. But I want to I keep Charizard alive because I want to see how much damage it does. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Uh, first off, I might live this Life Orb play rough because I'm defensive as hell. He sneaks. I understand that play because you don't know that my Charizard is actually not running any speed. I, had I been a max speed Charizard, obviously I outsped you. Uh, but we're gonna finish this off with my boy Choice Band Hoopa claiming another one. That crit early on really might have changed the game if my opponent went for Sucker Punch versus Pursuit. I was already um, hard pressed to stay in. Like, I I was tempted to stay in, but my opponent seems cool. I don't think it was OU material, but it was very cool. Um, it was OU because they obviously had Mimic you, uh, which I think would be a really interesting drop if it fell down uh, to the lower tiers. Now this is a game that Hoopa absolutely loves absolutely loves Hoopa is a huge fan of this type of game uh, because it just clears hyperface fury now I can easily leave Charizard and just will-o-wisp um, this is what how he told me to play this is how he told me to play versus Landers just willow immediately I'll live a stone edge um, this might be scarf as well which I think he is and he might go Zyra. I don't know. What do you go here? Like, you don't switch in this mod. If I go for Blitz, and if he goes in Zygarde, I get the burn. So I think it's Scarf Lando. I like that I Mega Bomb now, and I can easily check Mawa with Will O Wisp. It's Mega Mawa, obviously. Maybe my opponent will go Chansey because I'm minus one. I could see that. Okay. This dude tried to hard predict the Dragon Claw and ended up getting a burnt Mawa for it. So I will gladly take that, and I'll take your Mawa from you. I have 150 attack. And I don't think it's going to be enough <laughs> to knock you out. But uh, we get a Flare Blitz off on Lando. Because it was U-turn out to beat my Charizard, I'm thinking that it's max speed. And I can easily go out to Gliscor. Now, the cool thing about Gliscor is that um, 
I get a slow U-turn off. He actually went for Earthquake too, so I get a slow U-turn off. I'm assuming you might bring in Celestilla or the uh, or the Superior. This is where it gets interesting because I have two options here. I can easily bring out my Hoopa and just go for Bandit Fire Punch. Um, and I think that's the best play because I don't want to Hyperspace Fury and have them uh, Heavy Slam and knock me out. That's assuming Hyperspace Fury KOs me, and I'm actually curious about that. So I'm going to count. Assuming Heavy Slam KOs me at minus one. So we're actually going to count that real quick. Hoopa Unbound. Um, because I, Hyperspace Fury goes for the Protect. So Celesteela. Oh, you defensive heavy slam. Wow, it's only 60 base power. Great. Okay, so we hyperspace here, here twice. Yep, and it breaks through protect too. Even if my opponent goes for leech seed. I wonder if my opponent knows that. At this point, Mawa has not mega evolved, so it has the bulk of nothing. Uh, Landorus is not going to appreciate. Oh no no no! This this breaks right through that, buddy. Protection broken, gone. I just, I just, it did not matter. That protection was not safe. That's great because Zelestil is annoying for the team. So being able to deal with it so early, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, I'm a little bit worried if it's sub seed superior. But otherwise, I'm just going to stay. Like, if he goes uh, Lando, I'm obviously switching out for an U turn to Glide Score, which gives me a U turn on superior. It gives him the Leaf Storm, though. So there's a little if, about, there's a little iffiness about that. Um, but I don't think that that'll be able to knock. Ooh, buddy, hold up. Oh, okay, I get that. I respect that play. I respect that play a lot. Hey, don't go for sub, though. This breaks through sub, too. Uh-oh. That's fine. That's fine. Break through. Don't get full paralyzed forever, please. I might actually lose to this thing because it's, uh... Hey. Hey, Hoopa. Attack. All right, Hoopa. A little bit of... Message rip. <laughs> That's a little bit unfortunate there. Um, I would have been able to KO the superior multiple times, but we're gonna protect here. As my opponent's gonna go for glare. I think I have to move because the thing is, this thing could beat me one v one due to uh, due to obviously hacks. So. Thankfully, oh, I clicked Toxic there, not expecting the sub, and I'm actually going to be able to... I'm not going to be able to beat this 1v1. This thing's going to 1v1 me, huh? This thing might 1v1 me. Fortunately for me, my opponent decided to switch. Are you sub? Is that, is that the thought process behind bringing this thing out? Iron Tail doesn't KO me from 70%. Should I spend 1,000 arrows doesn't KO me. I Moonblast here. Oh, Corsu Crash, Tectonic Rage, did not KO. And I got off some beautiful Moonblast damage. That's going to be great for uh, for Hoopa. Excuse me, Hoopa. What? Gliscor. In fact, Gliscor is actually my play right now as I click Earthquake with it. So, um, Paras are definitely problematic. <laughs> as you can see, Hoopa did get paralyzed three times in a row, and I could have gotten rid of the two biggest threats of my team. Uh, but it's okay. Gliscor will easily be able to take this thing on. Um, the great thing about Gliscor is that it doesn't care. Earthquake 2, it KOs you. That's yummy. It just doesn't care. Like, it's going to eat the attack anyway. Uh, it'll even even hit, eat the attack from uh, Superior. I'm pretty positive 51% I'll eat Superior's attack. Like, Superior isn't going to do nothing to me. Uh, and I can roost up on Chansey if it comes down to it. Uh, that's an, well, I didn't expect them to go Chansey there, but... And what we'll do is take this opportunity to get my rocks. So I can pressure that Lando, pressure Superior. Uh, with Mawa being burnt, unless he shows me, I don't want to speak it to life, but I feel like you would have gone for Heal Bell if you had it. You know? Yeah, I don't I don't mind us both getting up rocks as you don't deal with this Pokemon period. So like if he glares me with Superior, I'm not sure what the Lando is supposed to do to me. I just know it's not getting any recovery back. No gyro ball you. He got up rocks to defog them away instantly. Which is super helpful for me actually. And I went uh, Clefable because basically I got a turn of leftovers no matter what my opponent did there.
I, what I'm assuming is that Charizard would take two Leaf Storms, which is why I went Charizard. I was, I was just trying to think about the long run of things, but by my opponent going uh, Lando, I always get in Glide Score, regardless of what my opponent does. I get a slow U-turn off versus anything, and this is unfortunately what happens when you lose Hoopa to Para, uh, as I could have. Basically, the, the turn one, I would have knocked it out, but now I'm a little bit more on the offensive. However, I don't want my Charizard getting paralyzed. I don't want Charizard getting paralyzed. I, I rather, I rather T spike up and deal with Chansey that way. I really don't want Charizard getting paralyzed. You're not gonna knock me out with two Leaf Storms anyway. I'm pretty sure, and I can Z Haze. Plus, he only has uh, five Leaf Storms. Uh, goes for the best play, which I agree with. Uh, but my opponent has limited turns due to Toxic. Actually, 33 times two. Uh, this will be close. This will be close. Okay, nice, nice. I got full parrot on a Z move. I want both layers up, dude. Because <laughs> now that chance, I hope he defogs for me. Please, please defog for me, dude. Anyway, Glyscore 1v1 is my opponent's team now, but. That's whatever. I don't think I can lose to this. I literally go Feral Thorn, get a Brox. I actually don't get a Brox. I Leech Seed because it beats everything 1v1. Um, especially if my opponent wants to give me Chansey. And now what I can do is actually Rocks on the Soft Boiled. So I knock out, effectively knocking out Landorus. He has Heal Ball. Uh oh, okay, okay, things get a little bit interesting now. Things get a little bit interesting now. Mawa might be a threat. Never to Glide Score, though. Why would you go for Heal Bell so late, though? That's such a weird turn to Heal Bell. And then he went hard Mawa! Okay, I, I don't know. My, like, Mawa doesn't have any defense prior to Mega Evolving. Yeah, that boy gets owned. You switch, dude. Even if you had a chance of living, which I'm guessing you do, I don't know. Mowal's not faster than Glide Score. I don't get. I'm not a big fan of my opponent's plays right here. I think this end game is not. Like he had the right idea by paralyzing my entire team. That's how you beat stuff like this. What? Man, I'm Charizarding you right now. I am Charizarding you right now. Why? This is it Healing Wish Chansey? I kind of... No, it showed all four moves. It wasn't even Healing Wish Chansey. Like, that's the only reason those plays would make sense, is if you actually were Healing Wish. <laughs> Good game, dude. You kind of have me... confused a bunch. Oh, look at Impish Zard X taking nothing from Adam and Mawal's... Oof. Lovely. Shout out to Impish Zard X. Yo, Hoopa went in. Hoopa would have went even more in. Had my opponent not gotten a little bit lucky, but this will be a tough matchup for sure. Uh, Metacham in itself is always annoying to fight. Mega Metacham, maybe CBT. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a tough matchup. Man goes hard, leads hard off with drill. There we go, Glyscore here. As he gets a rock, wait. Okay, what? Rocks, rocks Excadrill on this type of team, so it is Bandit Tar then. Rocks Drill, which is probably Rock Spin Earthquake, maybe Z Coco then. I'm not 100 on that. Do we take Rocky Helmet there? We do not. So uh, Pex is 100% switching. Oh, you might actually have uh, Sleep Powder. Interesting. Well, I mean, Pex is also pretty expendable in this game. Like it doesn't do the most. But if I can burn two turns of sleep, that's great. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. Now, because you have Coco plus Metacham, I'm assuming this is T-Punch and not Zen Headbutt. Which means Clefable should infinitely wall. Oh, it was Zen Headbutt, I lied.
Hey, thank you for giving me meta chip. I never mess around with that threat. I will always attack what's in front of me. So my opponent gave me the best breaker on his team. Uh, obviously missing the first Zen headbutt sucked. Okay, so, but I don't agree with the only for that play. Whether you predict me to go for rocks or not, you don't risk the best monitor. He had so many switches to Clef too. But yeah, I was surprised that Hebo was actually doing that much to me. Um, he must have been adamant to have that type of role. That's crazy. That did a lot, man. I did a ton. I like my opponent's team. I wonder if they have Z Celebrate, Meloetta. These are all, uh, are these considered all in the same class, like a Pokemon? Like, I know. Whatever. I'm just so sure he's gonna own. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna lead off with it. I'm gonna click it. Uh, my opponent has multiple U turners, multiple Pokemon that threaten Hoopa. But my thought process here is beat my opponent before they beat me. Um, okay, actually, let me. I should let off a Tox Specs and got a T Spike, but. No, they like Coco. Um, Banner U turn, the only thing that knocks me out, but even then, I'm not risking that. I'm gonna go Gliscor. I'll take the hit. Gliscor is actually more expendable than Ferrothorn in this. Ferrothorn is really pressured. So. I don't mind that, especially because I'll take an HP Ice after and I can just easily go for Earthquake. Yep. Are you shook a berry, buddy? You were shook a berry. Well, now it's popped. So great. I'm assuming my opponent's now going to go for the uh, Volt Switch, which is a pretty, you know, aggressive play, but it's a good play, nonetheless. Um, but Ferrothorn is a Pokemon that you don't come in very much on. So we'll get up Rocks. Gyro Ball is actually free, but I think Rock's pressuring him is a little bit better, especially because I force him to defog too. Um, and I can get in Charizard on maybe Celebi. Oh, Celebi's nest. Oh, I'm speaking these things to life, but like. It's Relic Song, isn't it? I'm a Leech Seed. Oh god, it's Subcom Mine. Alright, well, Hard Hoopa is the play because I'll break through you. Um. That's good that it's subcom mine. He better be max speed subcom mine, otherwise Hoopa's gonna say hi. You can't kill me at plus one unless you have signal beam. Ah, I shouldn't have said that. Well, doesn't matter now. <laughs> Cause I have a choice bear Hoopa. So my level is gone. Also, it wasn't Z Celebrate, so that's a little bit interesting. I went for Leech Seed because if you went for Celebrate or Relic Song, uh, Clef could beat it 1v1. As he goes, I have Tapu Fini. You have taunt? I don't really care if I get taunted or if he defogged. I go Pex as a pivot because I don't want, obviously, my. Uh, I don't want my uh, my Feral Thorn getting uh, one down there, but I think it really depends on like what his set is. Like I, I can always regen and Feral and, and Toxpex isn't like the most important in this game at all. It really isn't at all. Um, the important thing is wasting his Missy Terrain. I guess you'd Moonblast here, huh? You could have Scald, but I feel like Charizard's gonna take it either way. All right, so we may get involved here in Roost. He could be max speed. Uh, but then again, I could be Zardwise, so I don't know if you'd stay in with Feeny on me anyway. Goes Lele. I guess if I'm Zarwai, that's a pretty good play because you're actually able to, you know, take the Solar Beam and not be threatened out. Now this is a, oh gosh, I have to flare blitz it. <laughs> like, I don't get why his mods are all max defense, but there's still problems. Luckily, Impish Zard X did not care, and flare blitz is gonna two it. I had, the reason I had to stay in is because I saw leftovers. So leftovers automatically makes me think, okay, this dude might end up being a calm mindset. I have to stay in and attack him. I don't even know if his mons are max speed. Hmm. Celebi comes out. Hey man. You can get it too. That is another giant threat, but I'm assuming it's, uh, what's it called? I'm assuming the Celebi is Z itself or Scarf. I'm okay with risking Charizard there as uh, toxic clef beats every type of bulu unless it's banned and if it's banded then it'll beat itself And obviously uh, Finny was coming in but Celebi's too much of a threat to not go for 
Celebi is way too much of a threat for me not to attack like that. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep attacking. I think my underwear mom will win. Oh, max speed, Tapu Fini. Good to know. I'm still out of range of Celebi. Hmm. Moon Blast, you taunt slash Matrix Madness here. I'm gonna get in Glide Score, allowing me to U turn on Celebi. Your last move has to be Defog. So your Moon Blast isn't gonna do crap. Um, I can Earthquake. It's not actually Defog. Wow. Surprise. Really surprised. This thing is annoying. <laughs> This thing is really annoying. I'm trying to 1v1 it. I need a Skull Burn. The great thing is, um... Oh, I got the Skull Burn instantly. Awesome. So I can actually Z-Haze here. Meaning that he doesn't beat me with Moonblast after. He'll die to rocks too, so I don't know if he's going to switch. Perfect. And then Scald will... Six, and he'll recover leftovers. I need two Skulls to beat him, but Feeny was a problem, man. Max V, Feeny was a problem. I want a T-Spike up, man. But it's not worth going for, especially because he can easily taunt. So again, Celebi becomes an issue, um, dependent on the set. Uh, but luckily, Feeny is gone. <laughs> now this model is problematic. This guy giving me the most problems his entire life. Sub SD. I'm okay with the USDing though. As I have to stall the terrain anyway. There's no point in me hazing um, as I have underwear left. But I have to stall the terrain anyway. And I'm gonna try and get up T Spike here. Yo, I just dipped instantly. He's life orb too. Holy crap. So I have to stall out terrain in order to beat this set. Um, sub SD, Horn Leech, I'm assuming Sewer Power is your last move. Oh, I'll beat it. I'll, I'll live this hit, even if it's crit. Yep. I'll live it, and with his own grassy terrain, which ends his turn, and protect, I'll be able to 1v1 this thing, so. Man, I don't know where Yo, this guy had some problems. Like, this guy has some issues for me to deal with, man. That is doing way too much. Even if he subs, like, I always have to wish protect. I hate being on the defensive like this because one crit does about 65. Like, right here, I want a Moonblast so badly, but it's not worth. And unfortunately, I'm not like Hyperspace Fury. I mean, hyperspace hole on Hoopa. I wonder if you sub. Did I reveal? T I didn't reveal Toxic yet. Okay, cool. Hey, Lan. Thank you. And uh, we don't risk. We actually don't risk. Um, what's it called? A crit. So what we do here is we sack Glide Score. We get back in Clefair, but we protect, and then we're out of range of a crit. I'm surprised my opponent went out to that. I mean, Feral doesn't care. I just gotta not lose to Z Celebi. I really gotta not lose to Z Celebi. Uh, thankfully, Gyroball does a ton, especially if it is offensive Celebi without any recovery. Um, and I don't mind my opponent giving me Coco there. So that's nice. I'm feeling like I'm gonna lose to Z Celebi, though. It depends on what the Z move is, though. Okay, it's actually better to protect first and get out of range of Celebi if possible. And then bring in Clef and protect again, get some grassy terrain. You can go ahead and knock me out, buddy. Go ahead and knock me out here. I don't think there's any way you live this hit. 
I'm faster guaranteed. I don't think there's any way you lose, especially if you're that fast. Like, this goes through sub, this will kill you. However, grassy, a grassy terrain boosted move by Celebi might actually beat me, so we'll see though. We'll see. I ideally, it's, I know it's fast Celebi, but ideally it's not faster than Hoopa. Let's see if you have Bloom Doom. Was it Culver? Why did this battle not end? It was Culver. Ooh, and it lived on like one. Hey, yeah, and at that point my opponent knows, wow, it, it, lived, it barely lived that. Uh, but anyway, that was a that was alive, man. That was alive. Uh, we climbed quite a bit. I've never looked at my ranking this entire time. I know we're X and 1, I think. So we are, I don't think that's updated, but I think we're 21 and 1, not 20, 20 and 1. Uh, and someone had some random battle on this. That was not me. <laughs> uh, but we're approaching the 1500s. Taking our time with this, though. We got a, like five battles in this game. Or five or six battles in this live. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help my channel out. It helps me grow. I have a lot of plans for Let's Go. Um, but obviously, I have to be alive on YouTube for things like that to happen. So, you guys really do help me out. I appreciate that. Hey, follow me on Twitch, too. I know I don't talk about that too much, but you should. I got some fun stuff, man. I got some... Tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern or even... It's either at 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm continuing the Extreme Randomizer with Snark. And it's so much fun. Like, it's a lot of fun. So... If you guys want to come through, feel free to. Link is down below. And, you know, leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye, my friends. Bandit Hoopa is strong.